awakening in me A storm that set free We are, we are Unstoppable Together we'll never fall The darkness surrounds us No backing down We know that the light just reaches what you see. Quite simply, the seal on the darkness has been broken and the world is being absorbed. Sola! But you must have had a reason. There must be some purpose for you to do this. That's right. You'd never do something like this without a reason, would you? Or is someone forcing you? This may come as a surprise, but nobody told me to do this. I'm doing it of my own will. You used us this whole time right from the very start? Everyone uses everyone else, Jiro. That's the way of the world. But I will say this. Everything that I've done on this journey was solely for my goal of releasing the darkness. So everything went just as you planned, did it? All of this! Recruiting us for the journey, having us risk our lives to infiltrate Grand Kingdom, getting all of us to gain power, even defeating Nene. They were all just moves in some chess game you were playing then? I think that you have the wrong idea, Jiro. What's that? I, for one, certainly don't recall forcing any of you to do anything against your will. Every step of the way, you made up your own minds. You chose to take these actions. That's not the truth, Sola. You may not have used words to convince them or to coerce them into doing what you want, but nonetheless, you manipulated these children to achieve your ends. There's no denying that. Well, it is true that they did exactly what I wanted, just like somebody else did. Logi. <laughs> Zola, what is your point here anyway? Just what do you hope to accomplish by doing all of this? All of this? And just what exactly are you referring to? What kind of question is that, Zola? The darkness consuming the world, of course. Darkness! Darkness! Do I have to explain it all again? I'm restoring normalcy. I'm returning the world to its rightful form, to the darkness that was its original state. But... hold on! Shu, do you remember? <sighs> one of the first things I said to you? What's it like being a Nightmaster? I don't know, because unfortunately I don't happen to be one. In fact, if I was to be perfectly honest with you, I may not necessarily even be your ally. Hmm? <laughs> yeah, I do! What about it? My only allegiance is to restoring the world. <sighs> Shiro! No, don't! Zola! Why? <sighs> 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 J 
Tito. How many times have I told you, you have to control your emotions? <sighs> now let me tell all of you an interesting little story. <laughs> what could you possibly have to say to any of us now? We're here because you're attempting to destroy the whole world! Enough talking! Wait! Huh? Model? I want to hear it! Very well. I will tell you a story from the very start of the world. A long time ago, back when the world first came into being, light was created. All living things were lit by a beautiful glow, and peace filled the universe. It was a time of great prosperity. It was thought that the world of light was the destiny of the universe, that it was something that was always meant to be. However, humans craved even more than what they had been given. They desired not only light, but darkness as well. Their wish was granted, and darkness appeared throughout the land, but it also spread into the very hearts of humanity. It was in that moment that darkness was born into the world. The book of the beginning. Isn't it? What's the point of this? The story says that the light came into being first, as if it were destined to be. But that isn't the truth. That light came first is just a story, a lie humanity tells to make itself feel better. Huh? Ooh. Light can't exist without darkness. The truth is quite the opposite story. Darkness is what came first. Darkness controlled everything when the world was first created. <sighs> Get it? What's the big deal, Motto? And for a long time before mankind ever even came into being, darkness reigned over this world as its supreme ruler. As time passed and the darkness evolved, it morphed into various forms. And one of the mutations the darkness transformed into was the Shadow Wielder. Not true! That can't be! Darkness is what powers Shadow Wielders? Yes, exactly. Every single one of us was born from the darkness. Shadow wielders, and in fact every living thing, wouldn't even have come into being without the darkness. Shadow wielders were actually an entirely new species. When they first appeared, they weren't considered to be a threat to the darkness that spawned them. However, they quickly grew in number and soon gave birth to a new mankind. In time, some shadow wielders formed a partnership with humanity. They had the audacity to wage a war against the very darkness that had created them. As is to be expected, the tide of battle quickly turned in favor of the darkness. After all, as powerful as they were, the Shadow Wielders only had access to a small portion of the vast power available to the darkness itself. As the number of Shadow Wielders and Rebel Humans declined, it appeared that the darkness would achieve a quick and decisive victory. However, the mantle of battle was taken up by the seven soldiers of light, shadow wielders with incredible power. And so the darkness was sealed away by your ancestors. The Soldiers of Light used their powers artfully, but they sent the world in a direction that it was never intended to go. All that I'm doing now is correcting their mistake. I'm simply returning the world to its correct form, the way it was originally intended to be. And if anyone gets in the way of that goal, I'll make sure that they're not in the way for long. Protecting this darkness is so important that you'd even fight children. Is that right, Zola? No way! I just won't believe this! Please, Zola, say this is all a bad joke or something! There's gotta be a reason, right? Somebody's <sighs> controlling you! Or you're not really you! Whatever it is, we can help you! Please, just... just go back to the way you were! Okay... Zola... Ha <laughs> ha
Seems that words are no longer sufficient. Shu, you should be satisfied now. Yes, I agree. Zola! I want you to tell me just one last thing. Hmm. You've made me mad enough to use all my power against you! Oi, listen up. What do you call a dragon with cold feet then, eh? A wedding crusher. <laughs> Blue Dragon and Cartoon Network Ice Block is back on Cartoon Network. I want you to tell me just one last thing. Hmm. Tell the truth. Were we ever really friends? <sighs> huh? <laughs> the truth, Shu. No, I never counted you as a friend. No shoe! Mono. All along, I believed! Please, make me your apprentice! I believed in you! I really thought that no matter what happened, we would always be friends! This whole time! I still believe! That's why, as a friend, I will stop you, Zola! I see that you're as stubborn as always, aren't you? <laughs> All right. Bring it. Let's do this, guys! Time to take Zola down. Ready? Mm. Killer bat. Let's see who's better. Ah! Hmm. Uh, what? You shouldn't underestimate the power of darkness. Saber Tiger, your exceptional speed is indeed effective, but you lack an attack that could actually stop me. Try this one! Mono! Ah! 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 Why are you waiting? Attack now! Ah! Your defensive strength is impressive. But 
But you can't deploy shields to more than one location at a time, can you? And you, Hippo. You can't win a battle against the darkness with your powers of transformation alone. We must tighten our formation. We must keep close and cover each other's blind spots. I'll just stop Zola now. Me too. No, wait. Don't you find it strange? <laughs> Zola could finish them off, but she isn't doing so. She isn't. She isn't. It doesn't make any sense. All of this would end if she took down just one of us. I wonder if she still has something planned for us then. Or perhaps she retains emotions like an ordinary person. Doubtful. I'm not even sure she is a person anymore. Doubtful! Doubtful! But, just in case, I'll take her down before she rediscovers her conscience. <sighs> uh. Does no one see that we have to work together? Ah, yes, Minotaur. You truly do possess great power, but... Waves of Rage! I can read all your moves before you even make them. Then try me, Zola! Ah! Hmm. How careless. And now you will witness the supreme power of the darkness. Well, it seems that you're the one who's being careless now. Zola! What? Don't you understand, Logi? The power of the darkness is something far beyond what you can comprehend. Uh, you... <sighs> I just knew it. I knew that you two would keep this interesting. You've spent a lot of time searching for strength, haven't you, Jiro? Huh. But what have you really gained from that strength? Has carrying out your revenge increased your power? Be quiet! Shoo. Uh. Your goal was always to protect everyone. You failed at that, just the same way that you failed to defeat misery. Uh, only you keep spreading sadness, and I haven't failed because I'm not done yet! But now you are! No, you're wrong. Uh. You see, by allowing the darkness to take over, all conflict and misery will be eradicated. We'll no longer have to concern ourselves with useless emotions. Darkness is the only way. Once the darkness rules all, the hypocrisies and evils rampant in humanity will be no more. A truly beautiful utopia awaits us all, Shu. Just devote yourself to the darkness. If it's so great, why does the darkness have to absorb everyone? Of course there won't be any more conflict and misery if there's nobody left in the whole world to experience those things. And besides, to get rid of them, you must take the good feelings away too. You don't get to make that choice for us! Zola, you know that I've always had trouble understanding complicated stuff. But even I understand! 
understand this. It's simple. The world you want makes no sense. Quick shoot. We gotta end this. Yeah, I know. All right, we're gonna have to put everything we've got into this one shot. Conquer! Just her bare hands? This is a joke, right? How can we win if she can block our best shot? <sighs> yes, the darkness is strong. Tell me, don't you think that it's wonderful? <sighs> hmm. I suppose it's hard to express in words. So instead, I'll give you a first-hand taste! <sighs> well, what do we have here? How sad to rely on some trinket to get inside the darkness. Let me just take care of that. <laughs> what, what is this? I'm being absorbed! Show! <laughs> I was pretty lonely until I met my friends. We have lots of adventures. Looks like fun, doesn't it? The all-new Marvelous Misadventures of Flapjack starts 20th July only in the all-new show show on Cartoon Network. But you'll never find a better player. But you'll never find a better Next time on Blue Dragon. <laughs> Look behind you! Tell me, where's Shu? You've absorbed him.